Fortnite, as many of you may know, is an intricate and ever-changing universe that has drawn a large percentage of the population, especially in this particular generation, to love and actively support its constant development. Ever since the Battle Royale trend spiralled out of control, Fortnite was never seen far behind it. It seemed inescapable. It was literally plastered, talked about, or even just played everywhere. It didn't take long upon release for this game to completely explode in popularity to bring in record-breaking numbers as seen to this day. Many people reminisce on the old times and consider the time of release as the golden ages, where people look back now to this day after all the many innovations made and changes wishing that times were simpler as once were. It's safe to say the thing we know and love called Fortnite has come a long way despite only existing currently for nearly two years, however in this seemingly short space of time, and a lot long before its existence too, a lot has happened. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at the complete evolution of Fortnite overall leading all the way back to 2011 when the title was just originally an idea of an individual mind. Take today's video as an educational journey as what I'm about to present you many people will be shot by simply because the comparison of Fortnite's origin versus recent times is completely mind-blowing. Many people won't believe the early stages of the game are the root of what they see today. Before we hop on the timeline of where Fortnite started and you want to see more videos similar to this one then make sure you're leaving a like on today's video. Also make sure you're subscribing to the channel down below if you also want to stay up to date with these videos that I post if you want to see more of them. If you want to support me even further my creator code will be on screen throughout the video periodically so make sure you enter it as it will be showcased in the top left hand corner. Anyways without any more waiting or further ado I present to you guys the complete entire evolution of this beloved game that has taken over the world called Fortnite. Let's now begin this journey by showcasing the official Fortnite trailer, the first ever teaser of which was publicly aired by Epic Games on their official YouTube channel on the date December 8th, 2011. All the way back then, as seen in the trailer, you can clearly see that Save the World was the predominant aspect or goal for Fortnite to achieve. Fortnite Battle Royale was not even thought about, as Save the World took six years total to develop, whereas Fortnite Battle Royale was literally formed in two months. Despite the trailer you guys are witnessing in the background right now being seven years years old you can see a clear correlation to what Fortnite was ultimately going for and what we see in the game today such as monsters that we need to defend against in Save the World and even the Der Burger showcased at the start of the trailer that's made many appearances throughout cosmetics and map changes within not only Battle Royale but Save the World also. Zombies obviously are a predominant part of this mode to defend against and here is the old logo that many people will not have ever known existed. The next stage in Fortnite's development and public appearance was the first ever gameplay showcase, that's right. The first ever trailer that I showed was merely just of that, a trailer, no gameplay, showcased of what it will look like when you go to play the game individually yourself. Here as you can see in the background, the idea of harvesting and farming materials was teased and basically showcased for the very first time. I'll now roll this clip in its raw form so you can hear and see everything as recorded at that current time and you can compare it to the advertisements or the premieres that Fortnite air today. This actually shows an example of what that might be like to go out and scavenge for materials and uh, add them to your inventory and then actually build up a structure. So this is day one. Our character here is going out to find some wood. You know, she's got her handy axe and uh, finding some good stuff. So she needs to really focus on putting anything that she can up uh, before, the, before the night comes so that she can survive. So you can see this is our this is our framing mode. Uh, as long as you have the resources and you know how to build the objects you're building, you can very quickly and easily frame up a building. Fast forward into the mid region of 2014 or the late end of that year the very first demonstration of Fortnite Save the World in gameplay form was showcased. As you can see there are many devices here such as the directional launch pad and obviously the old style of chests that are no longer present in the current game state in either version of the game Fortnite Save the World or Battle Royale. Despite Fortnite tweaking and getting rid of certain features even from the start of the game the style has remained the same. As you can see the aesthetical appearance of man made structures, trees and overall the harvesting mechanics are surprisingly similar to now the current day despite this being filmed in 2014, five years ago. For the first time at the end of this demonstration, PvE is physically shown in gameplay form. I'll roll the clip right now in its raw form so you can obviously take in the sound effects and mechanics of which were performed for PvE and save the world back then.
Moving on to 2015, Fortnite now had an official YouTube channel designated specifically to this one game rather than the Epic Games YouTube channel. Uploaded to this channel on June 25th, 2015 was a Fortnite Mac showcase and a 2015 Apple demo for some reason, showcasing parts of several named locations that are in the game in Battle Royale now or have been, being Greasy Grove, Tomato Temple, Tilted Towers and also Pleasant Park. As this video progresses, even until now we can clearly see Fortnite is shaping towards what we see more and more in the current day. This particular showcase described Fortnite as a stylized universe where you can literally harvest or destroy anything to create your own fortress. After viewing this particular demonstration in 2015, many people thought that it would be implemented within the upcoming months. They did not know, however, that we would have to wait two years to see a full release of Save the World. Fast forwarding through that two year gap to 2017, on July 8th we were revealed to the official final Save the World trailer before release. Obviously it's not the final ever Save the World trailer, as many quality of life improvements have been made and showcased in trailer form since then, however this was the final trailer before the full official release of this Save the World aspect of Fortnite. As clearly showcased throughout this trailer there are many features, weapons, characters and overall structures that remain in the game in both aspects or realms to this day such as Battle Royale and also Save the World which this trailer is for. As mentioned previously with this trailer releasing on July 8th 2017, the full game of Fortnite itself released shortly after on July 25th 2017. The game was released as a paid for early access title for Microsoft, Windows, Mac OS, PlayStation 4, Xbox One and all of that happened like I said on July 25th 2017. This meant that back then Battle Royale was a paid for game not just free as we see today. This was a time when seasons didn't exist within Fortnite and Battle Royale was completely new and nobody expected it to take off to the lengths of which it has today. The biggest and best move considerably that Fortnite or Epic Games have ever made happened on September 26th 2017. This day marked the official full release of Battle Royale being free to play and everybody wanted to hop on board and give it a try. The trailer for this announcement that Battle Royale would be free to play was uploaded to YouTube on September 20th 2017 and has over concurrently now 52 million views. Unlike other Battle Royale games, Fortnite offered something very unique in the specific skill set that you needed to have in order to be successful within Battle Royale especially, the building mechanics and obviously the editing mechanics that come with the building aspect of Fortnite. At the time of this happening, this is exactly what the Battle Royale community was ultimately waiting for, getting bored of sitting throughout long games on a giant map without any way to ultimately diversify gameplay performance was getting stale and Fortnite ultimately basically wiped that out completely. Another pinnacle date of a kickstart in Fortnite's popularity or something that made it occur was the release of the first season, Season 1, on October 25th, 2017. This lasted all the way from then until December 13th, 2017 when Season 1 ended and after that Season 2 started. In Season 1, there was a very unique shop mechanic for in-game purchases called the Season Shop which holds mainly the rarest skins ever in Fortnite Battle Royale that we've seen to this day that sell for thousands of pounds on the Fortnite black market, such as the Renegade Raider and the Aerial Assault Trooper. Many other rare skins came out back then and many people regret not downloading the game sooner to ultimately have an investment of in-game microtransactions. At the time of Season 1's start there was a particular Halloween-esque theme in Fortnite and an event surrounding it called Fort Nightmares where particular Halloween themed skins, guns and overall map changes were implemented to the Battle Royale map. After Season 1 ended on December 13th 2017, the day after a new fresh season started with new innovations made that ultimately took Battle Royale in Fortnite to new heights. The main feature I'm referring to here is the Battle Pass, a system of where we could rank our tiers and level up in order to unlock new rewards whether we paid for the Battle Pass or not. At the time of Season 2's release there were only 70 tiers contained within the Season 2 Battle Pass, unique from all the other Battle Passes we've seen ever since then continuing throughout every season we ever see as they all contain otherwise 100 tiers in total. Most notably out of the Season 2 Battle Pass is the Black Knight skin for reaching tier 70. This signifies in game if you played the game a long time ago and ultimately intimidates players as they think you will have more skill from playing back then. As also just referred to throughout Fortnite's progression into the future, we always see a seasonal battle pass and currently we stand in season 8. I know 
I didn't cover any storyline changes or how the map changes occurred and were made sense of or anything like that, but that's for another video. That's ultimately every pinnacle point and premise of the Fortnite storyline or how Fortnite has developed in a storyline manner from tying all the loose ends together. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you're leaving a like on the video down below and subscribing to the channel if you want to keep notified as soon as I upload videos like this when I do so. And the best way to stay up to date once you've subscribed is hitting the notification bell to allow all notifications to come through to you guys as soon as you upload when I upload one of these new videos. If you want to go the extra mile and support me even further then my creator code obviously has been on screen periodically throughout the video so make sure if you want to support me even further that you're entering code friendly machine into the item shop for all your purchases through the vbook transaction. With that said hopefully you guys can have an amazing rest of your day or night wherever you are or whenever you're watching and I'm out. Thank you all so much for the support across the channel as of recently it's been insane and peace.